Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay. Thank you for joining me today. So welcome to part two of the sort of colour along, colour and chat in Circle of Life by Mel um, Mel Pamini Chatsipan Aji2, I think. And if I've, if I've said that wrong, I do apologise. So this is that beautiful book um, and um, we started this page where I did the background in part one as a galaxy background so today and I think this there will be three parts so I am really sorry about that but um, yeah I'll, I'm gonna do the pencil work we'll see how far we get and then maybe part three will just be where there's all the finishing touches you know with you know putting glitter on the background etc etc using gel pen and all those little wonderful effects so today or to start with, I am going to um, start colouring this fish. So as I said, I was going to use Prismacolor pencils. And for the koi fish, I'm going to use... Um, just bring you in a little bit there. I'm going to use the Prismas, as I said, for the body. I'm going to do them both the same. So I've got Deco Yellow PC1011. Canary Yellow PC916. Spanish Orange PC1003, Orange PC918, Cadmium Orange Hue PC118 and possibly Black which is PC935. So that's going to be for the body of uh, the fish excluding the flowers okay and then the um, fins and tail is going to be in other colours. So I'm going to not do everything on camera but just you know because it'll be too long and you'll get bored senseless so we don't want that. So I'm going to just bring this in and position my book so you can see the fish like that. I hope that's close enough. And I've put my pencils in order and sharpened them. So now we're going to start with Deco Yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Um, I'll try to do one fish on, on camera. So I'm just covering it very lightly. Um, so light to... Yeah, pretty much light pressure here. I'm barely pressing and just covering it. I hope it, I hope it, you can see it on camera, the actual um, deco yellow that's going down. So I just went over one of the leaves then. So let me just use my... I was well prepared today. Well, we'll find out if I was. Because I film upstairs in one of the bedrooms. Um... That means that I have to bring my stuff because my my I've done it again. My stuff, um, colouring stuff, is downstairs. So when I'm going to film something, I have to um, bring the stuff that I need for the filming upstairs. So I always forget something. So I'm just going to move this up a little bit so you can see the bottom half of the fish. So there are some lovely flowers in this fish as well. Gosh, the designs in this book are lovely. So um, how are you all doing? I hope you're all well. Let me know below um, what you're getting up to, what you're colouring at the moment, in which book. Um, I really like to read your comments what you're colouring or if you're diamond painting what you're diamond painting alright so I think that's the fish body most of it anyway so now that I've added the decor yellow which was um, PC 1011 I'm now going to add in my next colour which is um, canary yellow 916 so with that, I'm just going to add it to mainly working from the edges towards the middle, but not all the way. So you can see, again, I am using fairly light pressure. I've got a lot to learn when it comes to pencil, you know, colouring with pencils because there's some absolutely brilliant YouTube pencil colorists out there um, that create such gorgeous just like amazing pictures 
so one day I hope to be as good as them or near near enough to them as possible but you do get better which is always a good thing whenever you um, practice something you do improve and that's half the fun I think I think you just get better and better I used to hate my colorings with pencils previously but I've grown to like them more so you can see I have I've not gone all the way to the middle so I've left the decor yellow there um, just the deco yellow and this second colour canary yellow I've just gone over the initial colour but not all the way into the middle and then here at the bottom just on the edges again because I'm leaving the flowers out There we go. So there we go. Um, so that's the that's I use the second colour, which was canary yellow PC nine one six. Now I will list all the colours, you know, of the pencils below as well, so you've got them. And now I'm going to use the Spanish orange one zero zero three. So again, I'm going to go over my initial um, canary yellow colour. But again, not all the way up. So part of the way up. And then um, just, again, light pressure, pretty much. Just go over these. I'm waiting on a few books to arrive. Um, unfortunately, I found that Amazon UK, when you pre-order books, it, they used to come on the day of release, but not anymore. Um, they seem to be taking much longer, like three weeks after. They say they can only deliver like three, three weeks or so after the release date. So I've been looking into purchasing from other places, um, book depository, take some time but I don't think they take three weeks from the date of release and there's other book outlets as well which I'm just looking at to order books from so yeah I'm leaving that edge there lighter and then the dark bit there on the this edge here nearest to the fin on the bottom so there we go, so that's the second colour added in. Um, there we go, right, okay, so that was the Spanish Orange 1003. Uh, next we have this beautiful colour which is Orange 918. So I'm going to do the same thing again, just go over it. And I could have used polychromos for these, and I am going to use polychromos, say, if I do another colour along, I think I may use the polys. Um, I never thought I'd be doing colour alongs, to be honest, because uh, I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things I'm not very confident about. Um... I guess um, some of you have said and been really encouraging, leaving encouraging comments that you would actually watch colour alongs, which does encourage me to make them because ordinarily I don't feel too confident in doing those sort of things, those sort of videos. So yep, yeah, you can see that it's taking on. So I haven't really gone all the way up. So you just you don't you don't go up as far as the previous colour basically. Um, and then a bit here, I think. 
Should I bring you in a little bit closer? There we go. I'll have to keep moving my book and checking that I'm on camera because um, I'm, I'm in so close. So what can I talk about? So basically um, in about a week I think it's going to be, I'm just going to take this bit off because I went over it, the petal a bit. So yeah, in about a week um, it's going to be the Easter holidays so that's going to be great. Can't go anywhere but um, but oh, I've just missed a bit there so I'm going to put deco yellow in there. So yeah, um, we can't go anywhere but I'm hoping to do some colouring, well not some colouring, a lot of colouring to be honest and just nice to um, have a break from work and um, I want to sort out all my supplies because I have had supplies and I've just I'm just running out of space of where to put them so I need to um, reorganize time and time you know time and every now and again I'm trying to say you do need to sort of make room I guess for the stuff that you've bought and just look at what you've got because you are, well I often forget so yeah I'm hoping to reorganize most of my supplies and make sure they all have a home so when I need to find them I can find them easily right okay so that's the orange that's how it's looking so far now um i'm going to leave so the one i just used was the orange 918 i need to keep these in order these pencils and then the last one which is going to be the darkest color um in terms of the shades that i'm using yellowy orange is cadmium orange hue 118 so with this I'm only going to add a very small amount so I'm using medium pressure now just on the light to medium pressure just on the edges here not too not too heavy handed because I don't want harsh lines I am going to go over all of this again which you'll see so yeah what else do I want to do in the holidays um, I want to as well as lots of colouring and sorting out my supplies and putting them away in places that I know I can find them again to know where everything is I also um, I'm in the process of transferring not transferring I guess um, redoing my most of my uh, swatches and putting them into a, a new book that I've bought um, a new like notebook so I'm going to have different places for the different types of media so for example a notebook for mainly pens and pencils swatches and then um, the watercolour ones will be in a different place in a little A5 binder on sort of separate A5 sheets so yeah that's another thing I'm hoping to do Obviously I won't finish all the swatching because I've got so so many different types of media that um, it's going to take quite a long time if I want to get it sort of started and a chunk of it done. Just going over that again. Right, so now I'm just going to... So I've put all my colours on and I'm just going to get my deco yellow again and I'm going to go over this whole thing in the middle apart from the edges um, so let's do that it's a bit harsh that line there which I'll sort out in a moment so now I'm using medium pressure So just going over the whole thing. I'm not going all the way to the edge, but I am um, going near enough it, it near to it enough. Gosh, I can't speak today. Don't know what's up with me. 
I have actually been feeling quite um, ill because I suffer from migraine so so I've been feeling quite sort of um, not under the weather really because um, when you have a migraine you just it's just horrible it's you just can't really do anything so yeah it's not fun So yeah, that's the decor yellow just on them edges. Might need to do a bit of sharpening. So just put my sharpener there ready. So right, this is medium to hard pressure going over it. Sort of burnishing it now. And then I am going to get my third colour which was the Spanish orange piece heat 1003 just to make this bit a little bit better so it's blended in a bit better so I'm going to use light pressure just bring that out a little bit you know so there's no not as much it's a better blend basically that's what I'm trying to say so it doesn't you know look smoother the transition from sort of yellow to from dark orange is a better transition so I'm not going to go over the whole things with all the different colors I don't think I'm just gonna sort of do it like this where I'm using the middle color just to blend it in I might look actually I might take the second darkest color as well to work in there, there we go. This bit's not so bad because there's not actually that much um it's not that much space where you've got the transition, it's just mainly on the head of the fish. That's better I think. Right, so I'm going to use my second darkest colour, which is orange, to just lightly, again, just using very light pressure here. Like that. Do really like Prismacolor pencils. Um, they cost so much though in the UK to buy. They're so expensive. They used to be a reasonable price, but now um, they're just way overpriced on Amazon anyway. For if you live in the UK, and um, you get them at a really good price in America. So I really wish I could just like buy them directly from America or if I was in America it would be so good because I'd get them cheaper but yeah they are um, beautiful pencils and now I'm going to just finally just go in just lightly with the darkest colour which is cadmium orange hue 118 just here and then I think that should be um, sorted I think that should be um, one fish done. Well, the body of the fish at least. And I can go on to some other things. There we go. Um, I think I'm happy-ish with that. I don't think that's too bad. Um, just check I'm on camera all the time like this there we go right I think that's okay I think that is um, just bring you out a bit so you can see it Oops, other way right so there I am happy with that and I'll do the other fish like that but 
I'm not I'm not going to do the other fish yet because I'm not going to do that on camera so now what I want to move on to is the fins okay so the fins I've decided to use these colors so I will show you which colors I'm going to use so the fins and the tail I'm going to use beige which is 997 then I got these two the wrong way around so light peach is the second color which is 927 and then deco peach 1013 or 1013 and last color peach which is 939 so let's do them now so what I'm going to do is um, bring you in again And I position my book so you can see it. There we go. Okay, that should work. So I'm going to do this bit. I'm not going to do the, all of the fins. I'll just do this bit and then the rest of them I'll do off camera. Um, so first colour, beige 997. And um, again, I'm just going to lightly cover the fins with the beige colour. I'm only going to do this one I think. Um, let's just do one fin because we don't want the video to be too long. And you just need to sort of see me do how, how I'm going to do this. It's, it's um, fairly standard way of colouring, I think, anyway. So that's the beige. And then put that away. Now, I did say I'm going to use black on the fish body as well, but I haven't really decided yet where I'm going to put that. So we'll leave that for now but in, and just carry on with the fins. So I've got light peach now, which is 927. So again, on the edges, the tips, I'm just going to... And the edges. So the edges are these two ends and then here and here, I'm just going to make it darker. But yeah, I bet loads of you are working, lots and lots of you are working in this book, Circle of Life, because it is like one of the best books that has been released recently, in my opinion. Um, I just really, really love the um, really love the pictures in here. Um, one of you did ask and say, um, did the background of the ink tents come through? There was no bleed through at all. Um, you can see here, absolutely no bleed through from the ink tents, nothing. So if you are careful and don't use too much water, that should be absolutely fine and it dries pretty flat as well. Um, so this is the um, paper that you get with the Kirby Roseanne books. So that was the um, PC927 Light Peach. Next one is the Deco Peach 1013. So yeah, this paper is, is really nice. So all I'm doing really is um, just making it darker on the edges of the, of the fins and then it becomes lighter as you gradually go inwards that way. So I'm using medium pressure at the moment. I don't think I'll go on with the second layer because I don't think it needs it with these pencils. Because I'm using medium pressure. So there we go. So that was the Deco Peach PC 1013. Um, last colour now is the peach, which is 939. 
so this is the darkest colour so I'm just going to add it merely to the edges and sort of flick downwards like that sort of following the shape of the fin In the top parts first. So I am pressing on with this so it's medium to hard pressure now. Actually think that looks all right. I'm just thinking if I should, once I've done these in pencil whether I should add something on top you know like a subtle glitter on the actual fins itself I'm not sure yet I shall think on that that glittery stuff and all the final touches I think I'll do in a part three I did want there to be part two parts but I'm not sure I'm going to get that done so there we go so that's how I'm doing the fins um, I think that looks okay so all the um, fin parts will be done like that so even the tail as well so the tails will all be done like that so um, yeah that's that and now um, I don't know if I'm gonna add black um, I did include black as a color you know for the actual body of the fish I'm not sure I'm gonna actually add black I think I'm gonna leave it like that because you don't really see much of the, the you know, there's not much of the fish body to sort of add bits of black. So I don't know, I think I'm going to leave it as it is. So now the next bit that I want to go on to, to just show you how I'm going to do, is the lily flowers. Okay, so the lily flowers, I've got sort of two shades with them. Um, in fact, let's not do the lily flowers. Let's let's carry on with the fish, and then let me finish the fish, and then we'll, I'll come back. So let's do flowers in the fish body. So I'm using light aqua, aquamarine, peacock blue, and cerulean blue. So light aqua is nine nine two, aquamarine is nine zero five, peacock blue is one zero two seven, and cerulean blue is one o three. And the reason I chose those colours is because I thought you look here on the background and some of those colors here in the galaxy background are similar to that and I wanted it to tie in a little bit so I thought that's what I'll do I thought I will um, put the blue flowers in there so they sort of um, goes with the background you know so it ties in anyway that was the thinking I don't know if it'll work or anything or whether it looked nice but that was the thinking behind it so let's do the flowers, bring you in again. This time we're just on the flowers in the fish is where we're concentrating. Um, there's also some leaves there which we'll deal with later. So again, lightly put in your lightest colour. So this is the Light Aqua 992. Must make sure I don't colour the leaves. I must need to make sure that I'm looking carefully because these are all leaves here inside the fish, and we don't want to colour them. Is that part of the flower the petal? I think. There, I hope you can see it. And then here. So yeah, I've got a question, and I wondered if you can answer this question for me um, in the comments. So, when you have, um, when there's a flip through, do you prefer flip throughs that are just quick flip throughs without talking, um, 
by the person who's showing the flip through or do you prefer flip through where people um you know the youtuber sort of comments on the pictures and sort of talks through the things which do you prefer um i understand that in different moods you want to have a look at sort of Sometimes you might want them to do a flip through like that and sometimes you might want them to do a flip through where they're not talking. But to me, personal opinion is that I prefer it when the person speaks through it. And if I'm in the mood where I just want to have a look at the book quickly, then I just sort of forward it using my device. I just forward the parts. So yeah, let me know what you think because um, I did have a comment which wasn't meant to be a nasty comment, but... Um, it sort of did upset me a little bit because of how they wrote it. But anyway, let's get back to this. Um, Aquamarine 905 now, which is the next darkest colour. Pencils are rolling all over the place. <laughs> right, so this one is um, Aquamarine uh, 905. So I'm just going to put this near the... Working from the centre of the flower to the outside but not all the way up uh, not all the way so I'm not basically covering the entire petal I suppose the comment was was trying to say that you know they just want to see a flip through to them it is just where you don't talk and it's just quick we don't win we don't want a running commentary but um and the, this basically the one with the running commentary would be a review but I not like different people have different definitions of things so for example to me a flip through could be where it's just a quick flip through or it could be one where you discuss things and sort of talk about the pictures and the paper and other things so yeah But yeah, I didn't think it was that deep to, to warrant sort of a comment which was quite um, sharp, should I say. Anyway, I'm quite a sensitive person, so maybe I'm being too sensitive. Right, so anyway, that's the second colour. I like the way that's coming out. So that was the Aquamarine 905. So now I'm going to put in, I know it's quite a small space, some of the flowers are bigger like this one and this one's smaller. So we use Peacock Blue now which is 1027. And I'm just putting that near the base Now I'm not sure if I'm going to have, because some of the smaller flowers I won't be able to put in, put in another colour on the base because it's so small so yeah just darken it up at the base move it up a bit and then here Again, there we go. This one's a bigger flower. This is the only bigger flower, so I might put the fourth darker shade in there. <coughs> so there we go, and this one. I actually do like how that looks, um, because there's a big contrast between the body of the fish colours and the flowers in the fish colour colours or shades um, so yeah right so that's that now I'm going to use the darkest colour just gosh you can hear them all rolling can't you the pencils <laughs> right so this one is cerulean blue 103 <clears throat> so with that I'm only going to put it in say this flower here because it's quite big so I'll, I've got the space let's just put it on the edges actually on the rims of the center of the flowers I'm sure I can do that much I'm 
like that there we go and then I'm going to get my um, in fact I'm going to get my white so yeah the white Prismacolor pencil um, that's PC have I got the white here oh gosh what's the white one called PC 938 that's it I put it in a pencil extender so um, because it's running a little bit low I'm just going to merge these colours together just on the edges so I'm not going all the way into the centre of the flower uh, so I'm not only on the edges of the petal just sort of mushing it together if that's a word which it probably isn't but there you go so that's that And there you go that's how I've done the flowers um, with with pencil so now what can we go on to let's have a look um, oh yes the leaves in the fish body so I'm going to use sap green light 120 Kelly green 1096 and kelp green 1090 and the reason why I've put these like the colors next to it is so that if you don't have Prismacolor maybe you can go for similar colors in you know your other sets such as your Crayart sets or you know whichever sets that you've got polychromous just in case you have you don't want to do it in Prismacolor and you want to do it in another brand of pencil so again same thing sap green light this is light to medium pressure some of the leaves are really quite small as you can see there right and also these down here so yeah um, you will see my completed pages at the end of March of course hopefully and I will have done when this one is complete I will have done three pages in this book because like I said I do want to complete it because um, I really really do like this book and um, the books that I really do like I have this intention of finishing them I don't know whether it'll happen or not and I'm not giving myself a time limit of like you know a year or something I'm just gonna try to color in it as much as I can because even though I've been coloring all this time I still haven't finished one book which is a shame but I have colored lots and lots of pictures so So yeah, now I'm adding the, sorry I didn't say, Kelly Green 1096, just working from the base of the leaf, leaves. So yeah, add it in from the base of the leaf moving upwards. And then my final colour now is Kelp Green 1090. Okay, so I'm going to go back up here and just add some of that just at the base of the leaves. Not going up too much at all, just at the base there. now what else is there to do right the right what I'm going to do after I've just done this bit is I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish up the other side as in the other side of you know the other fish basically and um, then come back and we can have a look at the rest of the elements that need to have pencil on them and we'll take it from there 
So once I've done that, I'm going to go back to, I think I'm going to go back to my white actually. So the white, which I think was 938. And then just at the base of the leaf, sort of smoosh it in again. There's my new word again. Although these leaves here need a little bit of dark going on there at the base. Because it's so small, some of these leaves. So that's that one fish sort of done to, um, well, sort of done. I'm going to finish off the rest of the fins and the tail, and then I'm going to do the other one as well. Um, and then I shall come back and we shall carry on, hopefully. So, see you in a bit. Okay, back again, and I've done the other fish, as you can see, and all the fins in the colours that um, I described earlier. So um, wherever the lines were really concentrated, I, I sort of made it darker. So where you can see the fins and tails here, I used the darker colours of the peach um, in those areas. Um, so that's what it looks like at the moment. And now what I'm going to do, um, I don't want to make this video too long, uh, so I'm going to just work on the lily flowers. So this flower in the middle as well as these smaller flowers will all be done in the same colours, um, which is, I've got three, sorry, two variations of three colours. So I have, just bring you in a little bit, I have Deco Pink. Uh, 1014, Hot Pink 993 and Mulberry 995 and then the second set is Lavender 934, Dahlia Purple 1009 and Dark Purple 931. So those are the ones, those are the colours, those two sets of colours that I'm going to use on this lily and the other little flowers there as well and possibly on these small flowers at the edges here as well so I'm um, going to bring you in a little bit closer so we've got you in there I'm just focusing on this central flower so I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna sort of do it alternately the two sets of three colors um, I'm gonna use a pinkish colors the first set so this is the oh gosh let me see deco pink one zero one four. Just going to put my um, glasses on. There we go. That's better. So again, I'm using medium pressure here, um, light to medium pressure on that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then also on the edge there. Petals on the edge. I think lilies look really beautiful. Fortunately, I have a pond, so I get to see them. And they usually bloom in late spring, summertime. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, still got a bit of a, a, a migraine which hasn't gone away takes like days and days to disappear which is really annoying um okay so now i'm going to use the second color which is hot pink pc 993 and i'm just going to put that in at the base of the petal just working my way up a little bit but not all the way to the top um, I hope you can see that and it's clear. So yeah, I do apologise that there's going to be three parts instead of two. I would have liked two parts, but um, I don't know. It's a fairly detailed page. It might not look that detailed at first sight, but... Um, 
I'm going to sort of jazz it up with glitter as you know I do with my pages usually and you know putting stuff on top gel pens etc so it just would be a far too long video and I'd be there trying to upload it forever um, do the same with this bit I'm not gonna actually I'm gonna leave leave the outer just to save on time I'm gonna leave the outer petals I'm just showing you with this but I will do the outer petals exactly in the same way so now I'm going to add mulberry just at the base of the petals when I'm off camera I work more carefully but when I'm on camera I just I feel like I'm against the clock so you know I have to uh, work a little bit faster like that maybe just this bit here again right now that I've added the all three colors I'm going to go back to my lovely decor pink and just on the edges just sort of merge those smoosh the colors in um, like that just to blend it a bit better sort of burnish all the colours so they sort of merge into each other a bit and Prisma colours are very good for doing that smooshing so there we go now I will do the outer edge in the same colour uh, as in the same way as I've done this in a bit now I'm going to use the the three combination of the lavender 934 um, Dahlia Purple 1009 and Dark Purple 931. I'm going to use that on the smaller, pe the smaller petals here in the right in the centre because these petals that you can see here I might, you, I might put glitter or stickles on those so I'm going to leave those out. So the lavender is now going, the 934, oops, I'm going to go on the right bit now, on this middle bit. So I've done them alternately then I'll have to decide. I probably want to put something glittery in the middle there. So I'll leave that. And then these leaves here, they're going to be the lavender ones as well. I just wanted some um, variation, really. So... I just, I'll just get two petals done. But I'm going to go around with all of those. And, of course, uh, do the same thing. So now on my second colour is um, Dahlia Purple 1009 so I'm gonna again start off the base got light to medium pressure here because if I press on too much I'll get harsh lines I don't really want to do that now, the bigger petals it's obviously easier but again fairly light pressure just bringing that colour up but not all the way up the petal So there we go. And now the darkest colour is going to be dark purple PC931. So I'm just going to add that right at the bottom, the base. Hardly coming up because there's not much place to come up, is there really, on these little ones? The sort of curled petals right in the centre. Here I can come up a little bit more because it's a bigger area. So there, it does look like there's a line there, so I'm going to sort that out in a second or two. So back to my middle colour, which is back to the Dahlia Purple. I do really like purple colours, they're just so beautiful. Purple is um, one of my favourite colours, I would say. And then I am now going to go for my white, if I can find it. So yes, back to my white and I'm going to rather than use the 
lightest colour which was the lavender I'm just going to use the white because I don't want I want to make it a bit pale the edges even paler so yeah there you go and then even on the middles and the edges sorry should I say on the tips right on the tips okay so I'm going to use the lavender all on this um, part the the three lavender Idalia purple and dark purple on all of these and then the other pink combination that I had on the um, well I've done the central one and then on the outside ones now I think I didn't go back with this so I'm going back here with the decor pink just to merge this in I might have done it I cannot remember and then a bit of white again just on the edges right okay so that's that now the last bit and then we're gonna leave it there for today is that I want to do the lily pad leaves so can you see here there we've got a few lily pads there and up here I'm going to use these colours chartreuse 989 spring green 913 apple green 912 and grass green 909 so Let's go with chartreuse. I'm just going to do this single one here, but all, all of the lily pads will be done in the same colour. So again, going over the, lightly going over the whole thing. It's not going to take me too long to do that. And then um, probably working from the outer edge inwards. These are my favourite green colour combinations in the Prismacolor such bright greens I do really like them I must admit that's why you can see that they're really small you see the little nubby pencils so now I've got the 912 which I think is called the apple green just working my way in from the edge I really wanted them to be really bright and then lastly grass green which is the tiny 909 that I have I could have put this in a pencil extender but never mind just working my way into the middle like that and then I might go back to my chartreuse uh, nine. What's that nine eight nine? So back to chartreuse nine eight nine. I'm going like that, and that's it. So I'm going to do the lily pads that you can see. Uh, I'm going to finish off the um, lily, all the lilies in the in the colours that I showed you. Um, so I'm going to do these just in the alternate sets of three pencils that I showed you the pinks and the uh, lavender colours um, and do the lily pads and um, yeah I think I think that's it I'm going to do those and then I'll show you the end piece and then um, yeah we'll, that will be the end of part two okay everyone this is um, how far I've got then so this is going to be an end of part two and basically the flowers, these few flowers here that are on the edges that you can see, I did them in exactly the same shades. Um, the four colours that I used for these blue flowers here. So they were the ones that I used earlier. Okay, because um, I wanted it all to sort of tie in together. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these little bits that are coming out here. Um, but we'll see in part three and then I do want to use some metallic paint for the edge bits but yeah and also some glitter so this is where we're up to I hope you do like it um, and thank you so much for joining me and until next time take care bye